you are going to love our brushes so much that they're going to be used so much that I'm gonna to have to teach you how to clean them. And this is a really, really simple, easy and effective way to clean your brushes. Now I personally love to take showers with my, with my brushes. I just get straight up naked in the shower and I clean them. Now, this video is gonna be shower free for your sake and mine. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to use it in just regular water. Here, dressed, clothes, with Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, which is my favorite thing to wash my brushes with. I use this concealer brush a lot, so we'll clean this one first. Um, you don't wanna use hot water or cold water. If you use hot water, it causes the glue to uh, lose its elasticity and the bristles begin to fall out and it becomes a really hot mess. You don't wanna use cold water because it causes the glue to crack and it also causes the bristles to fall out. So you're gonna to wanna to use just room temperature or tempered water. You get the you immerse the entire brush, you get it all wet. Get it all wet in there so it's nice and dripping. You not you don't want them to soak, and you don't ever want to leave your brushes in a cup or anything where it's bending them like this. You want to keep your brush shape very clean and clear, and I'll show you how to do that in a second too. Um, so once it's pretty wet like this, you just take your shampoo. I'm going to put a little bit in there, a little dab will do ya and I'm just gonna get this guy wet. And you can see immediately how that is taking out all of the lovely foundation that was left in the brush. Now, I get it pretty good in there and I really work it, get all those bristles going. And when I feel like it's good, I rinse it. Now you're gonna wanna rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. You can see, like you can see that it's working its way out. See that? So it still has a little bit ways to go, a little ways to go. And if you feel like you need to repeat, which I do on this one, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Now, I sent my husband to the store to buy the shampoo for me. <laughs> and I said, get the smallest bottle possible. He came back with jumbo size. I don't know what this is, it's huge. It's like a lifelong supply of brush cleaner. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing again. You can kind of see, I'm just working that stuff out. You want to clean your brushes um, at least every three months at the very most, and that's if you, I mean at the very least, and that's if you don't use makeup very much. So once your brush, but if you're using a lot of makeup, you know, maybe once every six weeks is really good. Too much and you begin to break down the glues and the bristles and all that, so. Uh, another really good way to clean your brushes is to go ahead and um, get them all in the shampoo and then just to put them underneath Neath your faucet and let the water kind of run it out. As soon as it runs clear and clean, then you know your brush is, is good to go. Um, so once this brush looks pretty great, pretty clean, you can see how dirty the water is. We've done a great job cleaning this out. You can see how clean that is. Now what do you do is the big question. Do I just stick it back in my drawer? Do I dry it off? Yes. All of the above plus more. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and dry it off with a paper towel. Now the reason you do it with a paper towel is so that you can reshape your brush and you'll have a little more control with the paper towel than you would with the towel. After you've shaped your brush so well with the paper towel and you can see how nicely shaped it is right here, uh, you're gonna to wanna to set it down on the edge of your counter or your table or wherever it is and let it air dry this way. That way it's not laying on top of a counter and it's able to dry on both sides thoroughly all the way through. Now this could take mm, a, a half a day, it could be overnight, it could be a whole day, kind of depending on what part of the world you're in. It depends on how quickly your brushes will dry. As soon as you can touch them and you feel like they're dry all the way through and they've got kind of a puffy feel to it, the concealer brush is not one that will be puffy, but your powder brushes will be and so will your blush brushes as well as your um, eyeshadow brushes. Uh, they'll feel puffy, they'll feel clean, they'll feel really, really smooth. And that's when you know that you've got them super clean and ready to go for your next uh, application of makeup. When you take care of your brushes, it will help them to last longer, you'll be able to apply your makeup better, and it's just, well, makes everything, makes the world go around. It's so fantastic.